Dorian obviously decimated these guys down there. Now the real threat for us, where we're located, is flooding that is not a concern here. The storm surge that we get here, the last category of fog we had here was 2005, we started to engage it. Uh, and it lasted about two and a half days, it was a size of Texas in the late 1920s. Now, during that time, to give you guys a comparison, um, we, had a, we had four of those two and a half days after the storm hit. Um, we had two fatalities and we were back up and running clean and clear in like three weeks, give or take. The other thing is, guys, is our homes are not built like they are down in the islands. Okay? They're not built like they are in the states, right? I know they kind of have that Florida style home down in the Bahamas, Barbados, and you know, all those places. Which is that, like, you know, two by four framework, drywall based house here in the island. All of our homes are rebar enforced 12 inch cinder block. We're very isolated here. Evacuation isn't really in the cards for us whatsoever. So our houses are actually gauged for a category seven hurricane, which is not a thing. This is designed for. Those of us who run the boats here, we have like, you know, category one hurricane, shop and floor, stuff like that. Basically, it's supposed to be hitting us on Thursday. Um, we did some just pulling the boats out of the water. I personally go home and put up my bag, a couple of those beers, and sit over there. I just moved my car and go out and pull it away. Our rooms are built for here. You guys know this is crazy white roof that we have in the water as well. That's why it's so crazy. So our houses are incredibly dense and strong. That's what they're designed for. Um, Monster Slate is essentially what the island is made up of. So, with calcium based deposit exposure, a good cousin of the other is formed by a volcano. Only the volcano that formed it was one that never reached the side of the area. So, it's formed a trap to the rest of the city on top of it. The real picture is that if the water level was to drain or to drop, sorry, uh, immensely, all the coral reef that you guys see would become usable land. Because it is the same calcium based deposit exposure. A lot of sense, 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 sense. Now, again, as well, if the water level was to increase drastically, uh, we would be the most awesome coral reefs that you've ever seen in your life because our houses would be part of the right? So that is the way to picture it. The volcanic stone that also believe the first shallow sand plane they found was in 90 feet of water. Okay, so you get the idea. Right? Now, um, we are just going to make our way over to the ship right there, guys, and we'll be talking about the wreck. Now, the other cool thing about that is that we were able to reach the other guys feel like we were really close to the coral. You know, we were close to the bottom of the boat. But we're going to have to go out and have a GPS where we're at, Tyler. The glass is not magnified. We'll have to see what we get. Um, Tyler drives his boat like a slave very well. We're tired of the other side of the And there's somewhere he was thinking about it just now when I was looking at a little dry rock and we're working in the same area. Alright? Here we go. Cool. And, uh, really like a dry rock and we're Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're not going to start the record, I can tell you a little bit about that as well. But as far as we have been right now, everyone's been with me in the time of like 50 years. How do I feel? Not too bad, too long, too long. Is anybody wanting to be here? Well, I'm using the right time, right? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Just thought I'd ask. Okay? Now, so, as far as the rat goes, I give you guys a history spiel of it, and then uh, I just saw it over it, and once we get up there as well, we're going to run on top, and I will illuminate the front for you guys as well. But we can do the history, obviously, just to cover it. Um, now, the shipwreck is the HMS Tibetan, okay? Now, HMS, does anyone know what that means? Perfect, we're going to just, yeah. So, who many people will grab the center from this case to match the ship? Okay, but. What that means is that it was a part of the British War. Now, the HMS Basin was a very interesting ship. Uh, it was actually built and designed as a landing vessel. Okay, now it was built in 1861 in Liverpool. Okay, that was shut off the docks there, and essentially it was supposed to be coming up here to crash into the uh, enemy boat. Now, the bow of the wreck is directly in front of us. I just lost his bow, so it's going to be the right of it. Uh, uh -huh. So, as we saw around right here, the front half of the wreck is going to be with the end of the tile stand up. It's going to be a shell of the back end of the tile windows. That is directly behind you and it's quite a little bit. So, we have a solid here, guys. Uh, again, we will put the spotlight on the front here that sticks out of the water. Uh, and I will just ask you guys, both sets of windows are going to see the wreck. Do not run from one side of the boat to the other as a group. Okay, that's a great way to make sure that you guys can get a lot closer to you than you wanted to. Alright, now the ship out here is called the HMS Vixens. Like I said, it was a very ship. It was made entirely cast iron and it was heavily fortified 18 plants. 
Now a lot of cast iron on a team that was built was incredibly heavy. Incredibly heavy translates into incredibly slow. Right? Now no one's over with this guy. He's just trying to ram his head in. Right? Now, essentially, we realized it was going to be able to catch it, because right? as you guys can imagine, if this boat can only do about 8 to 10 knots, I would think it would be about 13 or 14. Trying to catch something that is significantly faster than me, probably not going to do that well, right? So, they decommissioned this from military service, and they sent it down here to us in Bermuda. Now, as the English so often did the things they did not want, they basically drew out raffle tickets for copy and they sent the stuff down. Now, when we had this ship down here, um, we actually stationed it out of the top right. So if you guys are going on the right-hand side of our vessel out there, you guys see the top of the cruise ships out there in the distance now, kind of where it went up. So that is docked there, guys, that is in the left hand of the Now, for the better part, the better part of 80 years, docked was the largest English military base outside of England, okay? Now, basically the reason why they were utilizing that is because we were in very wide the region was not built then, but that is why we were originally utilized by the English, okay? Now, to give you guys an idea of how dated Dockyard is, is everyone from the United States today? Is everyone living in the United States? Yes. Yes, for me. So all you guys are in the United States, give you guys an idea of how dated Dockyard is, <clears throat> and kind of the affiliation with the historical side of the English in the United States. Uh, is everyone familiar when the White House got burnt down? Yes, everyone knows about the White House being burnt down. The fleet of ships, that went to do it, the fleet of English, and that's from Dockyard. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying it, guys. I mean, it's not like a, it's just, just you know. That being said, if you guys want to take me out because of like, you know, my English roots, at least let us go back to the dock. But we need to go back to the dock. Now, as you can see, as you can see, Teresa's actually slapping the light and asking to come around. The Teresa's got to be up for you guys already. Now, like I said, guys, we will get the options of rocking around and we'll get some nice spins around the front of 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 uh, now, those gray snapper are actually very, very popular here to eat. Um, nice white meat fish. When you guys want to look at our stuff, we're going to get a fish variety. We're going to have about a 10. We'll do those. Right now, the reason I like to hang out here is because they've been training for years. And one, the shipwreck needs no fish. So you cannot fish around here. And two, they've been even better trained because the LED lights on the bottom of the boat attract them with a bait fish called a fry that they like to eat. Okay? Has anyone seen one get eaten? Okay. Cool. So look at that. If you guys are a huge pedo enthusiast, I am super sorry. Alright? Um, like I say, it's just kind of worked out that way. The little bait fish and the LED lights are the sun. They come up to it. And the gray snappers are the right where they can feed off the black fish. They are very well fed. Now, the coolest thing is that those gray snappers are all the eating them, but they have a nice dark line on the line. Those are just going to the line is either male or female. That is not true. And the line is to be with whether they are aggressive or in the fight with Okay, so if that line is pretty black, they're out here looking for a meal. In the daytime, they're going to come out here and check you guys out. I'm trying to see that line out there. So that was a pretty superb kind of thing. Okay, so black line means they're going to eat. They don't like the meals, they just kind of have to stay in the Okay, now as far as the final line story, the dressing room is a lot of But like I said, it was a lot of money for our 70s to stay in the back of the day. So they actually utilized it for a very interesting purpose of the dock line. This boat was used up there as a floating prison. Uh, do any of you guys have any Irish heritage? Oh, you guys, if you do, check, check your family tree, guys. If your lineage goes back, your Irish uh, heritage might get you a passport to us here in If your ancestors were on this ship, technically, you're entitled to that. However, that means that your ancestors were present. Under English rule, this boat house is exclusively Irish. We got sent down here on the British world, essentially have to be slaves able to get the world major base up in Dockyard for the British government. Okay? Um, I'm sure if you guys know the history between the English and the Irish, best friends, you know, they're going to love each other. They're going to love each other. Alright? Uh, a lot like the English and the Scottish, we'll have to be able to do that. Alright? Now, 
That being said, guys, uh, once you move really stuff on the knockout, you'll want to utilize the labor to go elsewhere. So then you move the building goes to the same high Now, then you want to move the building and actually put rust in there and call it fire. Now, the exterior hall was always cast iron. So when it called on fire, the interior was not in this way, but also cast iron and it doesn't burn. So, you're basically having this 120 foot long vessel, it's just kind of sitting there. It's just a shell of the weather, if you will. Know. So, the money, the big one, it's very soon, I'm trying to figure out a way to do this. In 1896, they came up with an ingenious scheme. They decided they were going to utilize the fruit as a gigantic other little speed bump. Okay? Now, the idea was that they would sink it to block the channel way out here, never tell anybody about it, and if anyone tried to make a speed attack on the back side of the island, they would have this channel in the right? There's only two ways now the west end of the island. One is over here, the other is dockyard, right? and it's just a station. Now, obviously, you didn't want to put it on the boat, and the dockyard was a large military base, so that side was very well protected and defended. You didn't have a foot fall. However, on this side, not so much. Now, here's the hilarious thing. You guys may have noticed, like, it's in that chunk that was taken out of the world. itself on the reef line, causing the back end to crack entirely away and sink in the deep water. Okay? So, simply enough, as far as the mixing goes in bullet point form, it was two stone casualty there, and then portal fire sitting still, and then it sank in a little place. It really goes that high. However, I mean, those house are fish friends out here. There's a pretty cool wreck out here. Um, and we are going to enter like the pool like tour boat.